Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to do the endodont, discuss the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular lateral incisor. So the permanent mandibular lateral incisor, this is the mesiodistal outline of the permanent mandibular lateral incisor. So the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular lateral incisor is it is quite similar to that of the uh, central incisor. The pulp chamber, it is wide and the pulp horns, they are more prominent as compared to the central incisor. So there may be one or two pulp horns. The canal, it is single and there's a gradual taper towards the root apex. Apical foramen, it exit either at the apex or either on the mesial or slightly on the distal side. This is the labiolingual section. So this is the labiolingual section of the permanent mandibular lateral incisor. So let's discuss the endodontic anatomy from this aspect. So the labiolingual dimension, it is a bit larger. The pulp chamber and the pulp horn, they are more prominent from this aspect. Uh, the pulp canal, it gently taper towards the root apex and the apical foramen, it may exit either at the tip of the root or either on the buccal, either on the labial or the lingual aspect. Now, uh, the endodontic vari the variations in the endodontic anatomy, they are more common in the mandibular anterior teeth uh, as compared to the maxillary teeth. So, in the mandibular lateral incisors, there is a chance of two canal and the incidence of the two canals, it is more as compared to the central incisor. So around 43% of the mandibular lateral incisors, they have two canals. And most of these teeth, they have two apical foramina. So it means that the canals, they exit separately from the, from the, from the root apex. This is one apical opening. So these are the two apical foramen. How the root canal it appear in the cross sections? So in the cervical cross section, the tooth it is the root it is in the cervical portion it is oval in shape and the canal it is located in the center and the canal it is usually oval in shape so this is the labial side this is the lingual side now uh, this is the outline of the root And the canal, it is more rounded. Now, with advancing age, there is more deposition of the tertiary dentine. And because of deposition of the tertiary dentine, the size of the pulp chamber, it is reduced. So, the pulp horns, they are obliterated. And the size of the chamber and the canal it is markedly reduced 
So it is difficult with age to find out the canal in the older adults. So this is uh, this purple color. It indicates the reduction in the size of the bug chamber and the canal. Similarly, in the labiolingual section, the labiolingual dimension of the pulp chamber and the canal, it is usually the widest. But with age, there is also reduction in the labiolingual dimension of the pulp chamber and the canal. Similarly, in the cervical cross section, there is also a reduction in the size of the canal and in the apical portion of the root as well. So this is all about the endodontic anatomy of the permanent mandibular lateral incisor. If you have any question, do ask in the comment. Please don't forget to give us your feedback in the comments in form of a like or a comment. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Dental EDU Hub for custom images and flashcards. Again, thank you so much for watching this lecture and stay blessed.